know, I was destined to really become a scientist because my father is a scientist. And so my both parents uh, were Japanese families, so academics is really strong. And of course, science is certainly better than liberal arts. So uh, at one point, I decided that really I was so good with my hands and I so enjoyed working with my hands so much that I entertained the idea of and mentioned to them that I might want to go to art school. Just to be smart with my parents, I decided that I would go to landscape architecture because that's still working with plants, but still a little straddle on the science side. But after I graduated, I basically went into sort of a landscape business, greenhouse business, and grew uh, fuchsias. But it was so seasonal that we decided that we really needed some, something that was more year-round, so we opened a plant store. And then, because we had a store, we decided, well, why not carry a little bit of cut flowers at the same time? You know, it was just exactly what I needed to do, work with plants and artistic side, creative side at the same time. What is my inspiration today? I would say nature, by far. I think that has a lot to do with my roots, um, you know, coming from Japan and Ikebana side. It's all about uh, knowing the beauty of nature and representing it well. Some of my other inspiration, other than nature, is probably art. You know, art for art's sake. You know, whether it's paintings, uh, sculpture. Sculpture is very pivotal in, in my. Um, study, um, I, f I see them to be like vessels. You know, it's, it's like I, I see an opening and I just want to put flowers in it. The two other very important forces for me is architecture, because it's really about building and construction, and fashion, that's the other side. Because fashion is dressing up that core construction, the architecture. So fashion and architecture actually go, works hand in hand, because I want to build first, and then I want to dress it up after with flowers. When you see a room with and without, you see such a huge difference. And of course, it adds the true color that exists on this earth. It's not a, a paint that's been mixed together, pigments that's mixed together. This is just as pure color as you can get, is, are the flowers. Just knowing exactly how much product to use so that you achieve that point of perfection. When it's, it's perfect, not one stem more, not one stem less. And, and that's great because that also represents, you know, the, the economy of things too, that being on the florist side, that if you put one more stem, you're actually giving away one extra flower and losing money versus one less stem. Well then, if you can do that, then, you know, you, you, are, you are an artist when you found that spot that, that's of perfection. What I feel when I look at product is I look at the texture, I look at the color, and I try to connect to that in my design. So if there's a lot of texture, I'm gonna look at flowers or floral material that has similar texture. You know, it's kind of like you can close your eyes and touch and they seem similar, even though one is a flower and one is a surface of the container. You know, it, it can't be just a vase and then the flower separate. It has to work together. Accent decor is really pure inspiration because they have done their homework to go after some of the coolest things that's out there. They searched the world to look for intriguing things that really makes us designers tick. What I find is I'm just truly inspired. It's so easy for me to design here because the product is fabulous. The most important thing that I really like to communicate to people who are in the business of flowers, particularly and those who love working with flowers, is that there's no and to learning. There's, education is so important because the world of floristry is changing all the time and if you don't move with the times, you know, use a new product that's out there, the new flowers that's being grown, new varieties, you, you can so easily get behind. I want to make sure that floristry stays a very vital profession, that it's a respected profession with some really good set of skills that's required to be one because only then can we really look at our, our profession and say, wow, we are good, aren't we?